Test driver Reinhold Geisenhofer says no one needs 30 centimeters of ground clearance in everyday driving, but there's no downside to it. And if you ever decide to head out into the forest or the fields, a normal car would bottom out. But the new version of the Subaru Outback won't. It also has new assist systems. Since its introduction in 1995, the Subaru Outback has been a true crossover, combining the strengths of a car with those of an SUV. Now the fifth generation Outback has arrived, presented with a new fresh look, revised engines, and numerous new interior elements. We tested the Outback in the comfort range with the powerful 129 kilowatt four-cylinder boxer engine and the linear Tronic continuously variable transmission. It takes 10.2 seconds to reach 100 kilometers per hour and has a top speed of 210 kilometers per hour. Subaru says overall fuel consumption should be 7.0 liters per 100 kilometers. And the price for our Outback is 38,400 euros in Germany. The Subaru has been criticized for not having the most advanced assistance systems. But Reinhold says that should be put to rest. We're trying out the hill descent control. In rough terrain, it allows you to concentrate on steering. The all-wheel drive takes care of the rest with its sensors. So coming down the hill trail is no problem. Also installed are two front cameras. They monitor the traffic ahead and recognize obstacles, cyclists or pedestrians, even at a distance of 110 meters. They beep if there's a danger of collision or if you might be veering off the road, but they do it to an absurd degree. Too many beeps can annoy the driver and lead him to switch off the whole system. When creating the exterior, the designers followed the principle, more outback. The unmistakable style and powerful appearance of the previous models was emphasized even more. The goal was a distinctive silhouette. Under the hatchback is a 559 liter trunk, which can be increased even more. As much as 1,848 liters are possible. Reinhold is now testing Subaru's EyeSight safety system. It works with two cameras, which together generate a stereo image. They monitor what is happening in front of the vehicle, helping you to prevent accidents. We drive toward an obstacle, and the car brakes by itself, avoiding a collision. Reinhold says the system worked like a charm. His feet were off the pedal and the car itself prevented a crash. The Outback's interior provides a balancing act between occupant comfort and sporty design. A sophisticated infotainment system and a driver-oriented cockpit create a pleasant atmosphere. There's an appropriate number of assistance systems so the driver won't be overwhelmed by them. The Outback is ideal for anyone looking for a compromise between a station wagon and an SUV. It's a great choice for anyone who wants interior space, but also likes to be able to go off-road. The basic model starts at just over 34,000 euros in Germany. Einhold says modern assistance systems have helped the Subaru Outback catch up with competitors such as the Audi A6 All-Road and the Volvo XC70. It's sportier than the predecessor model, but this performance comes at a price. Although the door sills look great, if you really take the car off-road, you can get your clothes dirty climbing in or out.